Yo, what's up, guys? Happy Friday, and uh, it's a Friday jam session day. So today we are going to be jamming for sure, and I am going to be uh, welcoming any questions that you guys have. And uh, today we are going to be talking a little bit further on this uh, digital product lead magnet. What should we What should we offer first? How do we come up? with uh, you know, a good lead magnet, um, what do we determine is going to be free and what do we determine is going to be paid, all of those things. I'm gonna give you guys um, all of the details on that, but I'm also going to give you a real live example of what this looks like because I'm doing this once again. Um, I'm going to be doing something that I've done here before. Same thing with the, the playbook, same thing with the checklist, the checklist, and how it all ties together, but how you can do this in pretty much any market. It doesn't really matter what the market is. Um, it can totally be done in just about any market. So that's what we're going to be jamming on today when we officially kick off. But right now I'm going to wait a couple more minutes until we get some more people in here live. And uh, I did want to remind you that uh, this is a jam session. So this will be also a time for you to ask questions. It can be on this topic. Um, or if you want to ask just a random question, you can do that as well. Um, we're totally, uh, here to help you. And I want to make sure that you get those questions answered so you can get out there and start taking some more action. Um, that's what we're going to be. Um, that's what we're going to be helping you with. All right. So, um, you know, let me know if you can hear me, if you can see me, if everything is clear, if everything is sounding okay. And, uh, I'm going to just wait for you guys to jump in here until we get rocking and rolling. So I see a few of you are jumping in here. I'm going to grab my coffee, which by the way, today it is super, super full today. It's real. It's right to the top. I just filled it and man, oh man, is, is it good? Um, <laughs> Gio, <laughs> what's up Gio? We seen Gio yesterday on our uh, office hours call, our virtual call, which was amazing in BCA. That was awesome. And we're doing another one tomorrow, our Saturday call. Uh, when are you breaking out the guitar for some real jams? <laughs> you always, you always need to, you always need to throw that in. Don't you Gio? You want that? Well, how about we do that one Friday? I'll definitely do that. Maybe next Friday I'll pull out the guitar. Uh, if you guys, if you know what, not just Geo. If you wanna, if you wanna hear a little bit more of the guitar on one of these jam sessions, let me know in the comments. Let let me know if that's something that I should do. Maybe it's just Geo. Maybe I should just fire it up for Geo. Uh, what's up, Kay? Happy Friday to you as well. Tamara, what's up? Good morning, all. Happy Friday. Uh, it was an awesome week. That's awesome to hear, Tamara. Glad, uh, glad of that for sure. Uh, Derek's in the house. What's up, Atlanta? Uh, good to see you, Derek. Missed you. I haven't seen you around lately. Must be busy. Uh, let's see here. Grace. What's up, Scott and crew. Happy Friday from California. So it's early there. What's up? Uh, cool. Anthony, what's up, man? Uh, looks and sounds good, but it is so early. Uh, how early is it there for you? Is it West coast? Just curious. Uh, let's see here. Salma. Hello. How are you? Cool. Yeah, we got some of the take action crew in the house. So that's always good to see. Um, so yeah, guys, like I said, this is a Friday jam session. So what we're going to do, if this is uh if this is your first time watching this, even if you're watching this on a replay, if you want to be here live and you want to ask questions, all you need to do is be here on Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern time, and you can be part of the jam session show. This will also air on the podcast which will air probably two Fridays from now. We're about two weeks out. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you want to be part of our jam session for the podcast, all you need to do is show up here and uh, we can answer any of those questions that you have. Um, this is what my way of giving back and uh, being able to hang out here with a, you know, a few cool people uh, in, in the world. So always exciting and fun to do this. One of the highlights of the week for me. Uh, we've got some of our BCA members here as well. Octavio, what's What's up, my man? Octavio is crushing it, by the way. So I'm super excited for our call tomorrow, uh, which we're going to be digging more into the email marketing stuff, which by the way, we're just wrapping up 
the full email marketing accelerator training program. If you're in BCA, you guys have full access to it. And man, oh man, did it turn out really, really good. If I don't say so myself, we're still putting on some finishing touches, um, organizing some things, but man, I spent the last myself and Chris Schaefer last three weeks, just recording videos and, um, and going through that process and building a list from scratch and, and all of that stuff. And today's conversation here on you know, this coffee talk is going to be really something that came up yesterday, but also came up on one of our last coffee talks. And it's like, how do I determine what is something free that I give away? And what is something that I charge for? It's a great question. And it is something we're going to address here. Um, uh, what's that with geo? That's what makes a brand creators unique. We actually have genuine talent, uh, teaching. Well, well thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, what's up, Jennifer? Good to see you again. Uh, oh, Hawaii, Anthony's 4 a.m. Holy mackerel. But you got to have a good sunset coming up here pretty soon. So that'll be cool. Uh, good morning, Karen. Uh, it's beautiful outside there. That's awesome to hear. Yeah, it's pretty nice out today. We're going to get a little bit of rain later, but pretty nice right now. Pretty nice. Um, all right, cool. So what do you say, guys? You guys want to kick this thing off? We'll, we'll kick this thing into high gear. Um, man, I don't know. I'm pretty fired up today. I feel better today than I did yesterday and the day before. I just, I felt a little off. I don't know why, um, but I feel pretty good today, which is always good. Um, oh, uh, Karen says, yes, we need to have a true jam session. We, uh, you need to bring out the guitar. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that might happen. That might happen. Um, all right, cool. So again, this is the Friday Jam Sessions. If you guys can do me a favor too, if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments. If you're watching this on the replay, I know a lot of people watch this on the replay. Um, if you're watching it on the replay, I appreciate you. And uh, ask any questions in the comments there too. I'll always go back and check those. And if there's something that I need to address, I can do it there or I can bring it up on a future coffee talk. Um, so definitely uh, make sure that you do that. All right. So um, we're going to kick this thing off. Let me put my little banner thing back up again. There we go. And uh, yeah, let's kick it off. All right. So I am going to do my official welcome to Friday Jam session, the official for the podcast, and then it will get cut and edited and uh, we'll be able to do that for that after. Okay. So here we go. Three, two, one. All right, guys, welcome back to another Friday Jam Session. And I'm sitting here with some pretty awesome people here, uh, and we're doing a live Jam Session. This is where we answer your questions every single Friday. If you're listening to this on the podcast, well, you get the benefits of listening to the recording. But hey, if you want to come hang out with some cool people, and if you want to ask your own questions, all you need to do is head on over to TakeActionCrew.com. That's where we've got some highly motivated cool people taking action. That's why we call it the take action crew. So if you want to be part of that, head on over to takeactioncrew.com and uh, you can uh, be part of our jam sessions on Friday, but we also do coffee talks Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So uh, 10 a.m. Eastern time is the schedule as of right now. So I'm going to kick this thing off. Like I said, uh, this is like the highlight of my week. I love answering questions. And I also always like to come into the jam session with a topic in mind. And yesterday we actually did a live virtual uh, call for our brand creators Academy members. We do a virtual call basically on camera. We do one of those every single month. And then we also do just a straight up office hours call um, once a month as well. So we have two calls and actually this, um, this week we actually had another call because we're wrapping up our email marketing accelerator program inside of the Academy, which soon will be available to the public. Um, but, um, we have another call on Saturday. So I just love these calls. But the reason why I'm telling you this is because we had uh, a lot of discussion yesterday on, okay, what makes, what makes the, or how do you make the choice to have something that's free that you give away? Okay. For your brand as a lead magnet to get their attention, to have people say, Hey, um, I'd love to get that for free. I'll give you my email address. If you'll give me that, it's just an exchange for that. Right? So that's something we talk a lot about as far as like, how do we build the list? We do it with a lead magnet. All right. Now the part that comes up next is like, okay, well now how do I turn that into money? Like, how do I actually 
charge people for something. Well, a lot of times what we can do is we can add something on the back end of that. So it could be like you downloaded something, maybe it's a checklist, maybe it's a shopping list, maybe it's a DIY list, or maybe it's a, a short little guide or a how-to. It's something small that gives them a result. Five tips to catch more bass, whatever, right? So once they once they get that, what's the next, next logical thing that they would need and want? That becomes your paid thing, okay? And it's it's a lot easier than you would think. A lot of people overcomplicate this and they say, well, wait a minute, you know what? I have to come up with this really, you know, this, this giant book, you know, a hundred pages or more. That's not true. It just needs to deliver on the promise, right? So what I always tell people is like, yes, let's start with the end in mind, right? But then what we need to do is we need to figure out the first part and that is the free thing, right? So if we're, if we're determining what we want to give away for free, but we also need to know where that's going to lead them. Okay. So I'm going to give you a real example and I'm also going to be building one of these, uh, actually over the next two weeks, probably. Um, there's already another one that's been built from something else that we've done. And I'll share that with you guys here in a minute. So you can kind of see how this all kind of ties together and you, it doesn't matter the market you're in the niche that you're in. It does not matter. If you're in the bass fishing market, you can do this, right? Five tips to catch more bass. And then you're going to have a guide or something on the other side of that, that will say, Hey, while I got you, you want our ultimate bass fishing guide, which doesn't just show you five tips. It shows you 101 hacks to catch more, uh, you know, bass and all of the, you know, the, the premium spots to catch them, the times to catch them, the lures to catch them, the ultimate, the ultimate guide, right? And so that would be something that you could offer for $9 and 99 cents or $4 and 99 cents. At that point, it doesn't matter. We're trying to basically get them to vote with their wallet and also become a customer. And now the email list that is free, it's valuable, but the one that is paid is 10 times more valuable, right? So that's all that we're trying to do there. And then in the future, we're able to then say, okay, these people raised their hand for five ways to catch more bass or five tips to catch more bass. And then they bought, bought the ultimate bass fishing kit or the, the ultimate bass fishing guide, then we know that they're, they're really interested in that stuff. So now we can offer other things, whether that's physical products, whether it's content led over to our blog, and then we get paid from an advertiser. Like there's all different ways that we can do it. What we want to sell t-shirts. It doesn't matter at that point. Right. But we have to, we have to start with the lead magnet, but the lead magnet also, you have to plan out where is that leading them to? And is that something that I can sell them on the back end? Now, one problem that a lot of people get hung up on. It's not even a problem. It's things that people think they can't do because it's already out there and it's free, right? I can't tell you how many people say, Scott, why is someone going to buy my guide when they can just go searching on Google? Well, here's the deal. If you can save someone time in having to go and search and find and weed through all of the different articles and all of the different content out there, they'll, they'll pay you $10 for that, right? Like I know myself, if you can cut down me searching for two hours, three hours, and maybe not even finding everything, I'll pay you 10 bucks for that. Like who wouldn't, right? So that's how you have to look at it. The other thing that you have to look at is you might post everything on your website and on your blog. And you might say, well, Scott, why am I going to charge for that when people can just go to my blog? Well, if you put it up on your blog, it's probably scattered or people want to download something and actually have it offline, right? So all you need to do is take the stuff that you have on your blog and then put it into a PDF, pretty it up a little bit, make it a guide, make it a PDF. And now you've got a digital product, right? And it doesn't matter that it's on your website, right? It's for someone that wants to be able to download it. All right. And I'm going to give you a real example here. So I talk a lot about our checklist, right? So the checklist Okay. And if you guys are, are listening to this, you can't see me, but I'm holding the checklist. I printed this out. It's about five pages. And this is the first step in the equation for basically validating your niche or just discovering your niche. And then from there, broadening it out, right? And then seeing the opportunity. So in 10 minutes, if you download this, you're going to be able to validate your niche in 10 minutes. If you go through this, I also have a video that I walk you through. Okay. So what this is doing is it's giving you a win, right? It's giving you whether it's a, a success as far as like it's, it told me that it's not good, Scott. Well, okay. I saved you the hassle of building out a brand and finding out six months later that it, you shouldn't do it. Right. So that's a win, right? Or it's a win saying like, holy crap, Scott, there's a ton of opportunity here. Now I've discovered that by going through this checklist, 
Now I want to build out my brand. Boom. Okay. Next, the playbook. All right. You guys hear me talk about the playbook a lot, right? And guys, let me just tell you something. You know, I look at this and I'm like, I'm only charging at this time, like $4.99 for this. Like, it's kind of crazy. Like, I should be charging $100 for this. Um, the information in here is over 15 years worth of building brands and distilling it down, right? But I don't care because I want people to get this and I want them to get value out of it. And I want them to become a customer because that tells me that they're more serious about building a brand, right? So $4.99. But with that all being said, this stuff right here, you can go find this on the podcast. You can go find this on the website. Now, it might not have as it might not have the screenshots. It might not have the detailed instructions, but it's me, you know, going through audio and sharing with you how to build your brand. But who wouldn't want to download this? This is 107 pages, a little excessive. It doesn't have to be that big. Um, but you can grab, you can grab this and just download it and print it out. And then you have a full guide, right? So all I did was I said to my, uh, my writer, I have a writer that actually doesn't necessarily write hundred percent verbatim, but basically takes the transcripts and then distills it down and then makes it read better. And I pay her to do this. Right. And so I basically say, Hey, there's five episodes. I want you to go through that. And I want you to come up with this. And then that's what they do. And then I pay them. Right. And then now I have an asset. So if you can pay for this, have an asset that you can sell forever, it's great. And we get qualified people into your brand, right? So again, that's exactly the same thing that you can do, right? I actually have someone in our academy right now. Actually, Octavio's on here right now. He did this, okay? Now he's in the process of building this. So what we're doing in the academy with him is we've already got the lead magnet, right? The lead magnet is converting over 50%, which is crazy. So imagine 100 people see something and 50 people say, I want that right? So that's a great conversion rate, by the way. Um, and he's going through our, our email marketing accelerator. We're actually going to be documenting some of his stuff and sharing his stuff. But the point is this, he took something that was on his blog as a blog post, turned that into a lead magnet. Now he's going to take you know, some posts that are on his site and he's going to bring them into an editor and have that turned into a PDF guide that he's going to sell between $4.99 and $9.99. Right. And that's where we go next. Right. So when do you determine what's free and what's paid? Well, I always tell people give away everything you can on your website to get traffic. Right. But then if you can compile it and distill it into something a little bit more compressed, right, then you can offer it for sale. Right. And there's nothing wrong with that. So the free thing needs to be something that can be digested really, really quickly. And they can, they can see that it, I wouldn't want this necessarily to be my free thing. And the reason why is because I know a lot of people are going to download this at first, maybe be overwhelmed and go, eh, I'm going to put it on the shelf, right? What I want to do is I want to get them taking action immediately. So if this was five tips to catch more bass, I want them to read it. And then I want them to head out to the pond and start trying those five tips. And then they're gonna be like, wow, that one tip really worked. I want to go get the ultimate guide right? So that's what you're trying to do in any market, in any niche. All right. Now, another example I'm going to give you, and it's not even available right now. We did a Pinterest workshop. Some of you may remember this. Some of you may have went through it. If you're in the Academy, you have access to it. You've probably already went through it as well. So the whole thing behind that was I'm going to go ahead and show a strategy that we've been deploying in a brand and it's working really well. We're getting about 40, actually now we're getting about 5,200 people to our website every month from Pinterest for free, by the way, after we set up this, this strategy, okay? So I said, you know what? I'm gonna have my daughter teach it. My daughter's the one that was doing this for us. So I said, I'm gonna have her teach it and I'm gonna do some podcast episodes on it, walking through the strategy and then I'm going to do some coffee talks on it, talking about the strategy, right? And then I'm going to offer a workshop, right? And that's what we ended up doing. So now the workshop's over with. We got uh, people that have went through it. Uh, we haven't started getting testimonials yet. We'll probably do that next. Um, but now, you know, that's all built, right? So then what I did is I had my writer, my editor, go over to our training. And I said, I want to create a lead magnet. I want to create a guide. And I want to lead people in to buy this course. So now we've got all this stuff here. So now instead of starting with the lead magnet and that, I'm going backwards in a sense, right? I'm going with the content that I created. We're going to extract the information from there. We're going to put it into a guide that can be sold, okay? And then from there, it'll lead to the actual full training. And the lead magnet will be like either, there's going to be two different ones. It's either going to be uh, how to uh, validate 
that your yeah that your niche is on Pinterest, right? So to kind of validate that, the other one will be like um, a case study. Um, see how we are get or see how we got four thousand three hundred and thirty two website visitors um, in Pinterest over the last thirty days, and then that's going to be just a little guide that will be free. And then from there, after you're like, oh my gosh, this is awesome, I want to do this, then there will be a sale for the guide that might sell for. or $19.99. And then from there, if you want to actually have us go through it with you through our training, then you can purchase that, right? For, I think we said anywhere from, I don't know, $147 to $197. If you're in the academy, it's part of your, your, uh, your membership, you get it for free, right? So that's kind of how, so I'm going to have a Pinterest guide coming guys, and you guys are going to get access to it, right? If you guys want the the free download, you'll get that. And if you guys want to, if you want to buy the guide, you can. And if you want to come into the training, you can, right? But it's all there. It's another asset, another thing that we're able to build. Another example we're going to be working on right now is the email marketing accelerator, right? We're going to be giving away a lead magnet that's going to either talk about a case study that we did and how we were able to build a list of 9,332 email subscribers in 30 days right? Case study. And then we'll probably break that down into a guide and maybe sell that. And then that will lead to email marketing accelerator, right? The training, right? So everything kind of, you just have to map that part of it out. Um, but now if you go through all my podcasts, you're going to probably be able to have all the information. You can figure it all out and kind of piece it together, right? You can totally do that right? If you're here on the coffee talks, you've heard me talk about lead magnets. You've heard me talk about landing pages. I've done landing page reviews for you guys. I've done lead magnet reviews. I've done all of that stuff. You guys can just go through the coffee talks and figure it out. But if you want like everything distilled down, like step-by-step do this, this is how you do this. Or, Hey, you want a little bit further? Want videos of me walking you through the case study? Then you can come into the training, right? So that's how we're always thinking about this. Some people want the training. Some people only want the guide. Some people only want the download, right? So in your market, you got to think about those things. And again, it's not just about information like this, like I'm talking about. I'm talking about it could be like crocheting, right? Maybe you're going to give away like three free crochet templates or something, right? And then you're going to have a video walking through how to do that, right? And then you might have the ultimate crochet, you know, crocheting one for every month for the next year, something like that. That's the ultimate set. And then maybe you have a video course showing you how to do the crocheting, right? So it it works in any market, guys. I've been doing this now for over 15 years, probably going on 18 years, to be honest with you. The digital side, probably 15 years. And it always comes down to figuring out what is the lead magnet that is naturally going to lead to the next piece that they might want help with. And then from there, how do we we move them up the ladder if they want like more in-depth? And that's it. That's the formula, right? So don't worry about giving away too much stuff on your website. And don't overcomplicate your lead magnet. We did an example in our, in our academy when we were going through the email marketing accelerator. And we literally pulled two blog posts from our blog. And we go, boom, we're going to take these two. We're going to run them through um, this tool that basically creates this PDF. And literally takes like 20 minutes um, to, to be done, literally. And we took those. We made a cover for them. We made a landing page. We started driving Facebook ads to it. And one of them's converting at 30%. One of them's converting at 46%. Now we're going to move in. The next phase is going to be like, okay, let's take some blog content and create a guide and let's sell it for $4.99 or maybe $5.99 or maybe $9.99. We'll we'll play with that. That's it, guys. Like that is the process. So how do you choose a free to a paid? I would say on the free, make sure that it's not too big because you don't want it to be too large for someone to be like, oh my gosh, there's all this stuff. It could be a checklist. It could be something that gives them a quick win, right? And then you graduate to more of the full guide, all right? Or the full manual, if you will, all right? So guys, you guys have any quick questions uh, on this? And we will dig into that. So let me see here. We've got one from Tamara. What's up, Tamara? One of our BCA members. Um, For giveaways, what's the biggest benefit to using giveaway boost as opposed to just running an ad to a landing page like you taught us to do with the lead magnet? Okay. That's a great question and I've got a great answer. Okay. So what, what Tamara is talking about it giveaway boost is a plugin that actually Chris Guthrie and myself and Chris Schaefer kind of collectively built. Right. Um, and the reason why we wanted to build 
a landing page just for giveaways is because we wanted it to be super simple to set up for ourselves. And then we started offering the plugin for WordPress um, at a fee. Okay. But there's some core things that you need to have on that page. Okay. That you can't just do on any landing page. Okay. You can piece it together. You can kind of duct tape it together if you will, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Right. I would pick a, a, a giveaway type platform or use giveaway boost. Okay. So here's, here's the thing. We want that page to be very, very simple, right? We also do not want that page to be miles long. We only want it to be, uh, we call it above the fold. We, as soon as you land on that page, you want to be able to see everything within that contest, right? So you want, number one, we want a time, we want a timer. We want a countdown. So people, when they get there, they're like, oh, there's still 26 days left or, oh, there's nine days left or, oh, there's 24 hours left, right? So it's good to see that timer because it shows them that this is when it's, going to be ending. And it feels as though this is a real contest too, right? It's like a countdown, right? Until the ball drops on new year's Eve, right? It's the same idea. So timer. Okay. Very important that you do that. Um, the next thing is, is you just want a page that has no menu. So no menu bar. All you want is just maybe, maybe a little bit of your logo. And a lot of times we don't even use that. We just use a, a static image on the background. Um, if it was for fishing, it might just be a, a kind of like a grayed out or a, a very faint image of someone bass fishing or something. And then everything else would go over top of it, right? Your title. What is it? Win the ultimate bass fishing kit, $225 value, right? And then enter below and then down below, it'll have pictures of what's going to be included inside of the giveaway, right? And then right to the right of it or just down below, it's going to, it's going to list out in bullet points, what is included. And then down below that, it will say, enter your name and email address to win. Okay. So that's like step one in that process. Now, the big thing here, the big thing isn't even that page like that. That's all important. Your page should have that. But the next thing is when it can really, really skyrocket your, your entries and you can get them for free. Okay. When they submit that, it's going to do a few things. Number one, it's going to then connect over to our account in ConvertKit or your account if you're using Aweber or whatever you're using. It'll also collect them within a database inside of WordPress, but we won't get into that. Um, but I always uh, want it to connect over to an autoresponder. So this way here, we can follow up with those people immediately, right? And, and, and give them a, a thank you email, right? But the important thing that happens ne next is it goes to a thank you page. And this is all pre-built in Giveaway Boost, by the way. It reiterates what they just did. It'll say, congratulations, you've now successfully entered to win the ultimate bass fishing uh, kit. But if you'd like more chances to win, here are some options for you. And you might say, share this link with a friend and every three friends that you get to sign up, you'll get another five entries, right? So now they have a little link there that's also built inside of Giveaway Boost that will allow that to be tracked to them. So if they do send that to three friends and those three friends enter, it'll automatically give them five entries, right? Um, if uh, we, we can set it up that, say, that, that says, um, uh, watch our YouTube video to get three more entries. We can also say, uh, go like us on, or follow us on Instagram. You'll get another five entries if you do that, right? So we can incentivize them to get more entries, to do more things, right? So that's a big one, okay? So if you just have a landing page, all you're going to be able to do really is just put a static image there or maybe a video and then say, you know, a little bit of copy there and then enter your name and email address. And that's it, right? We, we want that countdown on top there. We also want it to have some, maybe uh, some images like we usually do it is uh, either in a, in a GIF that will actually go through and kind of like a little video would kind of scroll through like a carousel, uh, or it can just be images like a slideshow that kind of show all the different things that's included. And that's it. But that's one of the big things that you want to make sure that if you're doing a contest or a giveaway that you want to have those elements in place. So hopefully that answered that for you. Uh, Derek. I got the free version of ConvertKit, uh, going to make a change or are going to make a change to it soon. Good. I think that's a great move by the way. 
And if you guys are, uh, if you're watching this or listening to this and you want to get some extra goodies, if you sign up for convert kit, uh, you can just go to brandcreators.com forward slash convert kit, all one word. So convert kit. So that would be brandcreators.com forward slash convert kit. Yes. We are an affiliate for them. We only promote them because we use them. You will not pay anything more. They will actually pay a commission. They'll buy us a cup of coffee. And if you do that, um, all you need to do to get our goodies, we've got some templates and some swipe copy that you can use. Um, you can just uh, send that to scott at brandcreators.com. Again, that's scott at brandcreators.com and we'll send you um, those bonuses. All right. So just something else, a little extra for you, if you are going to go there and that their free version is really good. Um, the only thing that they don't offer in the free version is I believe an autoresponder. So you can't send a message automatically. You can only send broadcast, I believe. Um, Alicia, Hey, what's up? Good morning to you as well. Uh, Derek, is it best to be passionate about your niche before deciding to go into that niche or do research and go into a niche of your choice? Well, okay. If if I had a choice, I would love to be passionate about it, right? But if I'm struggling because I'm just not finding something that I'm passionate about that I want to build a brand in, then I'm just going to look at opportunities in a niche that I can then start taking action and start actually building, right? You're only going to learn if you start doing, right? So I would just say, even if you said, you know what, for the next 12 months, I'm just going to build this thing out because I've done the research. I've went through Scott's checklist. I've gotten everything kind of figured out as far as like validation pieces. And now I'm just going to start building the structure and I'm going to start filling it with content and I'm going to start building my email list and I'm going to start sending emails, right? And I'm going to start a Pinterest account. Like I'm going to do all that stuff. If you do all that stuff, guess what? You're going to build an asset that you have and you own, and you're going to learn through that entire process. So I would say. If you can't figure out your niche in seven days, then I would just move past that. Like just, okay, I got to make a decision, right? Um, and I mean, a perfect example inside of the academy, we're building a brand in there that we use as our public case study. And we're also like giving all of the, even our email marketing accelerator, that's where we built a new list in it. And we, you know, we show us messaging and stuff. Um, I'm not passionate about that market at all. Um, now, you know, do I know a little bit about it? Very little. Right. Um, and yesterday it was interesting. Uh, we actually, as part of our, uh, training, we actually did a live outreach to our email list to show people how to do it. Um, we call it the, I need your help email. And, um, and really what we're looking for there is we're looking for, um, replies from, uh, that email list to let us know what do they need help with? What do they want us to create content around? It's a great strategy. Well, I did that. And within the first hour, I had like 11 replies. And then I just checked this morning after about 36 hours, um, we've had 50 replies, 50 people in that market reply back to me or Wally, the guy that's writing it, who I'm writing as Wally. Uh, yeah, 50, 51 responses so far and, and counting. Um, so pretty powerful stuff when you do this email marketing stuff, but anyway, um, pretty, pretty cool stuff. Um, Karen. I'm struggling with the thank you page and upsell. I have the preschool workbook going up. Yeah. Well, again, that's what I said yesterday, Karen, on our call. And we can talk about this again tomorrow on our 12 o'clock call. But the biggest thing here is we need to, you might need to peel a, a couple pages or, or a week's worth of whatever's in that workbook and give that away for free. That's what I said, right? Or in this case, um, you're struggling with your thank you page and your upsell. Well, your thank you page is going to have your, um, is going to have your workbook on it, right? So that's easy. Um, the upsell, as far as like adding something else, let's not worry about that yet, right? The way I look at it is you, you right now have, we talked about this yesterday. And if you guys are just listening in, um, I'll kind of fill you in. So Karen's been running an ad collecting emails and, um, and it was doing really well. Um, then she paused it because she started getting good organic, uh, uh opt-ins. I think about a hundred emails a week. So what I would personally do is I would take those hundred people and I would start to test my thank you page, right? I would add the thank you page and I would add my workbook for $9 and 99 cents, regular price, 1999. And I would test that. And then I wouldn't worry about that next element yet. Right? Um, so that's what I would do. But Karen, we can talk about that tomorrow as well. Oh, thank you. Uh, Derek 
take a sip of your coffee. See guys, if you're listening to this on the podcast, this is how cool our people are here on the, on the coffee talks. They, they remind me to take a sip of my coffee because this is a coffee talk after all. I mean, you got to sip your coffee and it's, it's getting a little bit cool. So I got to take a sip. All right, cool. Uh, Tamara. Okay. Thanks for that explanation, Scott. I e emailed you all of my ads and website giveaway yesterday to review inside of BCA for tomorrow's call. Getting leads today at 54 cents. Ooh, I love that. 54 cents is great. Um, and I believe that's for your giveaway though, right? Um, I believe we can even tweak that and get it down a little bit lower, which would be cool. Um, I think the last time we did a giveaway, we were getting them for about 23 cents. But hey, anything, anything a buck or less, I'm good with. Um, but yeah, we will go over that tomorrow, um, Tamara, on that call. Um, so, all right, guys, um, I think that's going to wrap up this Friday jam session. Um, if you guys have any other questions for me, drop them in the comments. Maybe we'll answer them in a future uh, coffee talk. And again, if you guys are listening to this on the podcast, I would encourage you to uh, to join us. Head on over to Take Action Crew. Dot com And hey, if you want to see how this all ties together, if you just kind of want to go through this process, let me, let me uh, share something with you. If you go to brandcreators.com forward slash checklist, you will go to a page, a landing page. It will ask for your name and email address in exchange for your name and email address. You will get our checklist and a video walking you through how to use it. Then from there, you will also see on a thank you page that you'll get a special offer for this guy, for the playbook and the audiobook together. So check it out if you want to see how this all ties together. But even if you don't want to just check it out, just check it out to get the book. Um, that brand creators uh, playbook is really what we live by. It's what we teach. It's what we live by every single day. All of that stuff in there uh, is what we do on a daily and on a weekly and a monthly basis. So if you just want to go straight to the book, you can just go to brandcreatorsbook.com and you can go to that page and that will show you everything that's included. It's like I said, it's about 107 pages, but it's all broken down into sections um, all the way from niche validation to building your website, to creating your content, filling your content buckets, posting your content, how to do it, and then building your email list, messaging your list. And then from there, monetizing. So it's all in there, guys. It's literally the roadmap. It's the playbook as we, as we call it. All right. So, uh, yeah, if you guys want to join us on a future, uh, jam session, head on over to takeactioncrew.com and, uh, well, we'll see you over there. All right, guys, that was officially a wrap. So I just paused there. So my video editor could do that. And my podcast editor, um, so yeah, guys, if, um, if you guys have any other questions on this topic, let me know. Um, I know some of you that are on here right now are in BCA. Um, we will be doing our Saturday call tomorrow at 12 PM Eastern time. We already have, I think three, uh, three different, uh, businesses to review. We're going to be doing some ad reviews. We're going to do some email reviews and we're going to do landing page reviews, lead magnet reviews. We've got all of that stuff lined up. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any other questions, drop them in the comments. Um, Monday, we will be coming back here to do our normal, uh, scheduled time of, uh, our coffee talks for Monday. Monday will most likely be a Monday mindset piece, um, that I'll be, uh, uh, coming up with. So this way here, we can get you guys ready and fired up for the week to come. All right, guys. So, uh, that is going to wrap up today's call. Once again, I want to thank you guys for showing up being that loyal take action crew that you are. I appreciate each and every one of you. And, uh, until next week, take care, take action, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.